Hi, we're working in Canvas today. I'm going to show you a way to wrap the text around an image. Uh, one way you can do it within Canvas is to go to the snowman and insert a table and then put your text on one side of the table and your image on the other side of the table. Uh, but I think this is a little bit of a nicer way to do it. Uh, and it takes a little bit of coding, but do not worry about the coding. It's simply cutting and pasting. Um, so you can see I have some text here in my rich content editor box, and I have an image down below here. So the first thing I need to do is grab some code. Uh, do not be mystified by this. Do not be scared of this. So all I did was I Googled Canvas wrap text, and the very first link that comes up is the one I want to click on. And on this page that's going to pop up, somebody's written a little piece of code for you to use in Canvas. So this top one is if I was using a Flickr image, but I'm not, I'm using this one. It's my own image. Uh, and so I'm gonna copy all of this text here. Okay, I copy that. I'm gonna go back to my page here in my content editor, and I'm gonna go down to the little button here, which is gonna change me to the HTML editor. So at the end of my, uh, end of my code here, this is the code for the website, I'm going to paste in that um, code that I just copied. And again, don't be baffled by this. Don't look at this and think you can't do this because it's really very simple. Uh, so I'm going to be replacing some of the code here on the bottom with some of the information on the top. So the first thing I want to look for uh, if I'm looking through this code here is I'll notice there is a source for the image. Um, and so I need to replace this with my own. So I'm gonna go up to where my image is at the top and look and find where it says image source. And I'm gonna grab everything inside of the quotation marks. So starting with the HTTPS, I'm gonna go all the way over everything, everything, everything inside of the quotation marks. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna find the same spot. And I'm gonna highlight that. And I'm gonna paste mine in there. Then I'm gonna need to find the alt, which is the alternate text. So if somebody has a immersive reader or they are looking at this um, through you know, a braille reader or something, they need to be able to know what this image is. So I'm gonna grab everything in the quotes after alt, copy that. I'm gonna find the alt down here and I'm just simply gonna replace it. So I paste it in there. Okay, now I need to do my text. So I need to find my text up top, here it is. It's all this big long paragraph here. So I'm gonna grab everything, including the period, uh, inside of these tags. So I don't need this P inside the tags here. I don't need this um, NBSP space at the end and any of that, I just want the actual text. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go down to the very end because that's where the text is and I'm gonna paste that in there, okay? So now I have my code on the bottom and I have my code on the top, but I don't need the code on the top anymore. I'm done with that. So I'm gonna delete all that. When I click back on my button here, it's gonna take me back to the rich content editor. And now you'll see that my image has been wrapped around my text. If I wanna change the, the location of this, let's say I wanna put it on the right, I'll go back to my editor button. And at the very top in the first line, you'll see float left. I'm just gonna change that to float right. And you'll see it'll flip to the other side. If I wanna make this a little bit bigger, the picture, I can click on the picture, click on image options. I can specify like, you know, if I do 500, you'll notice that the height and the width change uh, automatically. It's also easier just to go to the custom and choose, you know, large, hit done, and then boom, now I have a bigger image there. So hopefully that will help you in um, uh, adding your image and then wrapping text around it.